kind of then makes it at three hundred dollars a week that you're paying because if you package English plus the main course, then it's uh, three hundred dollars. Okay, so that's our main English price. Yeah. Right. So that yeah. saves you around eighty dollars a week as well if you package it with, as you know, David told you. Yeah. So yeah. So that's that's an exciting news to save some sort of. Yeah, and look, yeah. we um, we don't have any application fee and. For our general English courses, we have no uh, material fees as well. Okay, so you can save more money that way. You know, yeah. other yeah. colleges. So if, you, schools, yeah. Yeah. so if you compare to other universities and colleges, so no enrollment fee, no material fee. Mm -hmm. So that's that's obviously saving uh, somewhere around one yeah. or two grand small. Because obviously, yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a huge difference. Yeah. So uh, so we already uh, covered up the scholarship. So. Something about the concurrent studies. Um, so, lots of students are doing the master's program, but uh, or a bachelor's program, but they also wanted to do some sort of trade program, which which is not clashing to their original plan. To me. So, is there any opportunity at CIP as well? Yeah. So we have some flexible flexibility there. Yeah. Um, I always encourage students to understand any risks involved of uh, not meeting their their. Their, their visa, their current visa, yeah. okay? Because your main goal is to continue in your uh, your main course that you're here for, okay? But we have students from ANU, from uh, Australia National University, from University of Canberra, master's students, PhD students, they have more flexibility in their schedule, okay? So, um, yes, uh, the, there is an opportunity to study concurrently, yeah. but um, and that's a conversation that I have with a lot of the students. Yeah. I talk to the teachers. I get them in contact with the teachers. Yeah. Look at the timetable. Yeah. Um, the course must be CRICOS registered, yeah. so it must be uh, from international uh, course. Yeah. And um, so yes, the availability is there. Okay, and and because we do have some night subjects that can do at night and right. things like that. Right. We have. Um, finance students come to us and they want to do a, um, a statement of attainment in right. bookkeeping oh, yeah. and MYOB, yeah. okay? Uh, that is a one night a week for 18 weeks um, and so some of the students do that yeah. as well. We have students that do the um, uh, the statement of it, they, they get the, the responsible service of alcohol. Yeah. Um, that's a one night thing but yeah. we also have a five, a five week uh, one night a week um, in barkeeping. Right. Okay, and, and so we have lots of ANU oh, students, uh, lots of uni yeah, students yeah, doing that. So yeah. the op the possibility is there. Exactly. Yeah. It just you need to make sure that your timetable with the principal course is not clashing. Yeah. And you have all the uh, you know the, the all the nitty gritty has been you know uh, being fixed. Yeah. yeah. From the previous university and from the CIP as well. Yeah. So uh, Jason, the last question, mm -hmm. like um, you already told us about the tags. Mm -hmm. So what the next? Now I'm just repeating this one. So yeah. what's the next intake and yeah. what are the exciting news if there is any okay. from the CIP if you're gonna? Yeah. So, yeah. so the next main intake is April. Yeah. Okay, and that's for diploma of nursing. That's for the uh, commercial cookery, okay, starting at that certificate three and then on to the cert four and diploma. Yeah. And the child care, starting at the certificate three and then on to the diploma, okay. That is coming up. Uh, you can apply now, okay. Uh, we accept applications up until they're full. Uh, you can enroll up until the default date in, unless the, the course is full. Okay. Nursing is very competitive, so yeah. you, don't bother applying for nursing if you don't meet the English requirement. Okay, that's that's a key. Um, I didn't talk a lot about English. Okay, we do have now our English is set up where we have nine intakes a year, every five weeks. Okay, we we're not like the English schools where we can start every week. Okay, um, so that next intake is the middle of March. Okay, five weeks. It takes ten weeks to complete a level. Okay. So go from pre-intermediate to intermediate yeah, yeah. to upper intermediate, for example. So um, that's coming up. We have another one in April right. and, and so on in June. Um, uh, yeah, and then the, the big thing, though, if you are applying from um, Latin America, yeah. okay, uh, 
from Mexico, from Brazil, from from uh, Chile, from Colombia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we do have an offer for you uh, for two hundred eighty dollars per week. So we're knocking off a hundred dollars a week. Okay. Uh, so that's a promotion up until October of 2020, okay? Because, because look, Canberra is a regional city. We, uh, it, it's great for students to start their journey in Australia in a regional city because there's more opportunities to you at the end, okay? So come and start studying English with us at $280 a week. Uh, we have also extended this to um, like Japan, yeah. Taiwan, South Korea, uh, and some other countries. But we can, uh, we will, we haven't had. This is specifically for Latin America, but right, yeah, but yeah. so that just came out like this week. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, that's exciting. So we're breaking the news, yeah. 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 Lots yeah. of Southeast and uh, you know Southeast Asia. Yeah. Like Japan, uh, you can even try to grab this opportunity and get the English course and just. Two hundred and eighty dollars a week. Yeah. So that's a massive, you know, scholarship or discount. Yeah. 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 So that's for offshore applications only. Uh, yeah. So that's yeah. for offshore. Mm -hmm. So this is the time, guys. If if you really wanted to study at CIT and you are preparing to go to Canberra, then I would suggest that CIT is the the only and the best place uh, out there to study and make most out of it. Uh, thank you so much, Jason, uh, for coming here. Pleasure. And, yeah, thanks for giving us some time. And uh, it was it was fun, and have we have lots of information. And if you need any information or further discussion regarding your admission or visa process, we are more than happy to assist you. You can call to Think Higher. We have our hotline number 0435 You can also call to our WhatsApp number, the same number. Or you can email us at education at and we are more than happy to assist you with CIT applications. Thank you very much.